Today I finished up book three of the Red Rising trilogy, Morning Star. It was quite fantastic. I loved this series from beginning to end. The one thing I really loved about the whole series is that it has a beginning, it has a middle, and it has an end. It's, it's just so great that I wanted, once I finished it today, I wanted to just start up the first book again and, and see how these relationships started and, and see all the little foreshadowing and all the different bits and pieces that have been there all along but really come to a head in the third book. And uh, I just really, really enjoyed it. And if you've already read or listened to the first two books, then just get on it. Go, go check it out right now. Don't, don't delay. Get into it. Go back to the world of Red Rising and you're not going to regret it. This uh, third book is narrated by Tim Gerard Reynolds. Once again, does a fantastic job. There's actually a few more accents in this book than the last few books, so it was kind of cool to hear him do some takes on some different things, and I'm an accent freak. I love accents, so it's always cool to uh, hear different stuff. This is my uh, Northern California accent right now, and I've got my hella shirt on to prove it. Things finally come to a head, of course, as we knew they would. Many different showdowns in the Red Rising world. No spoilers, of course. I'm going to do a video just discussing the whole trilogy as a separate video, but I just wanted to kind of throw in my little review because, I don't know, if you've already read the first two books, and you should be all in on the third one, but, you know, maybe you've heard that it, somebody didn't like it, but you'll like it. I guarantee it. It's a five star. It's fantastic. Probably my second favorite uh, series behind the Stormlight Archive by Brandon Sanderson. Only two of those books are out so far, but so fantastic. Probably do some videos about that as well since I love it so much. It was great to see the world building all kind of come together and to know that Pierce Brown really had this whole thing in his mind from the start to the finish and wasn't kind of making it up as he went along as A Song of Ice and Fire kind of feels like that. It's kind of meandering and it was only supposed to be three books, but now it's six books and it's going to be eight books and, you know, that kind of feeling where Pierce Brown kept the Red Rising trilogy nice and tight, started, finished it super strong. I'll, I'll keep it quick. I'll keep it short. Red Rising's fantastic. I'm so glad I finished it. I'm kind of sad I finished it since it's so fantastic. And now, you know, I go back into the, into the world of looking for what the next book might be and what the next adventure is, where the next adventure is going to take me. Thanks a lot. Take it easy.